all right chaps how's it going this will be our first our first stream so well done if you're watching this later uh it's gonna get edited down for youtube so yeah uh just a quick preface used to do a lot of gaming stuff moving into the art stuff been doing ai research now for about i don't know two years just as a hobby and this year i think it's really blowing up so i thought it's time to do some documenting started off let's get into it let's get into it okay now i'm going to be changing these avatars which i'll be making with ai so don't worry about it if you don't like it let me know what you think of these uh avatars just to have something talking and bobbing in the side there you know i might make a whole bunch of them but that's by the by welcome to the stream or the video depending on whether you're on twitch mushroom fleet or youtube mushroom fleet you can find me on twitter instagram and tiktok either mushroom fleet or five below five um five below five dot uk you haven't been finished yet so i wouldn't bother going there but these videos are going to be um they're going to be up for a while so i would imagine uh that by the time people are actually watching these back the chances are the website will be up so there you go five below five dot uk it's going to be like a little page that'll point to other sites like a, a but you know you can pretty much just get the website so anyway if you use discord you can join us with the link in the description it's the best way to get in touch i'm looking for uh collaborators and people that want to come on and talk so if you've got a mic and you like talking and if you've got a lot of stuff you've been doing with ai i want to see it uh hit me up in the comments if you've got some things you want me to check out and uh today i want to take a look at something called pollinator or pollinations dot ai anyone can use it and i thought it might be nice to just run through it so you can get an idea of how to do that so uh, let's just chuck over to my desktop quick i know i know so what i'm going to want to do is get the pollinations here we are pollinations looks nice right i've used this a bunch of times it's actually really cool um so we'll go through and just create one like i said you can get this at pollinations.ai if i just there you go look can you see that pollinations.ai that's the address so let's go create i haven't been to the website recently so it seems oh no no here we go now it looks normal they just had a new front pet front end so how about we go for a video right I always like this one, the clip guided VQ GAN Turbo Zoom. We'll go here. Now, it looks a bit cryptic, okay? So it wants you to put in a text input, but it's grayed out. And the reason is because you have to do a collab, which runs in a separate tab. So we'll click on that, start here, and it's going to launch us into a collab. Usually, all you have to do is hit run all, but it's a good idea to read the instructions. So do, 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 do. So there's a menu runtime and we click run all. There we go. Run. Now you can do this for free. You don't need to have a subscription, but you will end up running out of free time. At which point, if you want to carry on using it, you've got to do the go the collab pro, uh, which isn't actually that much. So anyway, what's going on here is it's actually going to install and run everything like it's kind of, I don't know. I, I tend to think of it like a virtual environment, but I've never run any of this stuff. It's just I can see pit running. So it looks like it's downloading dependencies. And then actually running, you know, because look, Node, Linux, stuff like this is getting installed. So it's kind of automating you a server setup. Now, generally, when I see this, these means it's working now. So we can go back to the other tab. Should be able to go. There we go. As Marvin's conscious circuits began to shut her down, right? Let's 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 do something. Let's do something else, right? Let's say a great one the other day. Let me just look at my notes. Do, 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 do. I got notes somewhere. There they are. Right. So if I just take one of my prompts, 
from just recently. I take. I wonder if that'll work. Okay. I'm going to take quite a complex prompt here. So obviously we're going to strip out anything we don't need. I'll leave stuff in. I don't know if these work though. So I'm just going to put a comma in. I, I'm not honestly, I don't know if the special syntax for this, there might be like pipes and symbols. See, I'm going to get rid of that because it's going to confuse it. It might have been actually better to leave that in. Yeah, it's always a good idea to look up the notes and just see, but I haven't gone into that much detail. I just thought it'd be cool to show off what you can do with this. It might be a complete, complete mess, but I've got prompt eater, anime, movie poster, anime, movie poster, title, prompt eater, anime, advertisement, energy, inside wires, inside samurai, samurai style of me. So I can leave all this alone. FPS, I'm actually, oh, see, you can break it. I've gone up to 24 or high, I've gone higher. So I think, I think we could probably get away with 12 being half of 24 without going too far. Because if you had, if you have the pre, the pro collab, you could probably just whack 24 or maybe even um, a normal for a higher frame rate, basically. You don't really need more than that, though. It's only fun for fun. Oh, audio file. Nah, we want to use the uh, thing. It's fine. So let's have a look at this. Follow closest. Just leave it on the defaults and then hit create. Okay. So God knows what it's going to do. If we go back to the collab. We should see now that it's starting to do stuff. And this is what I mean. There's so many of these things, and we're going to take a look at all of them eventually. So, you know, if you're a bit of an art nerd and you like your computers, this is going to be great because we're going to take a look of all these different things. We'll give it a test spin. Like, you could have put anything in there. You could have put one of your images in there, and then your output is going to be different. Whether you're allowed to use the output as is is kind of irrelevant because if you do digital art or even even if you've done a collage you know what transformative means and technically it's you know it's a gray area right now there are some services like dali and midjourney which you can pay and then they'll let you use for commercial because it's your it's your creation as it were see i tend to look at it people get all hooked up on who's creating these images who's doing this right and to be honest it doesn't exist without your action. You, if you didn't do it, it didn't exist. So regardless of whether you created it, it, you, it belongs to you and you're responsible for it. So it's more like who's liable. Yeah. Like the person that ran the prompt and the person that published the image, regardless of if he edited it, he's responsible. So, you know, possession is nine tenths of the law. Without my action, it wouldn't exist, you know. And you'll see that in some of these processes, you have to actually feed back into the loop. You have to actually guide the process. So it can't happen without a human and you can't get good results without a human. Those two things have to go hand in hand. So, and also there's a lot in the prompt crafting too. I'm still learning and I'm probably 150 hours of GPU time in. I've done about 10,000 images on only mid, just mid journey. I'm not bragging. It's been great. I did it in five weeks. I had a great time. Um, mostly, I was just trying to get the AI to do things I'd already been trying to draw in real life to do with a project I've been working on for years. So all this really did was supercharge my concept process. And when I'm looking at it, I'm going, huh, if I just fix that here and fix that there, that'd be perfect. But anyway, getting back to what Pollinator is. Pollinator is um, a large collection of these collabs. I don't know if they're all made by one person or if they're authored by separate people, but I'm thankful that they put this service up. Because to be honest, until I'd found this, I didn't have half a clue how advanced this had got this summer. It seems like this last six months, things have just gotten way, way more advanced. You know, maybe it was alien tech. I don't know. 
So, yeah. Oh! Oh, something just broke. What did it say? Collab. Width and height is too high. Well, I didn't do that, so let's hope it can fix itself. Pretty much, guys, all you got to do is wait. And then down here, you're going to get yourself uh, this zooming video. They're the ones that you'll see people use all the time. Like, look at this. It's AI. And uh, they'll show it on TV. You know, they will have upscaled it, basically, for broadcast. So let's see what's it doing now. Whoa. Doing stuff. Oh, there's my text prompt. Hmm. Obviously, if you get the pro version, you'd be able to do a much longer video. So you get higher resolution and longer playback time with a higher frame rate. So it's like, you know, you can do this for free and it'll be OK. It'll look cool, but it won't be good enough to broadcast on TV or print. You see what I mean? If, if that's what you're doing, you're going to have to blow it up and do some work. Like I'm like trying to show off what the result of AI is. So I don't I want to keep what. You know, I want to keep the stuff I've worked on and finished separate to a certain degree than the stuff which just came out of the engine. So I tend to put the stuff that just came out of the engine on my Imgur mushroom fleet. OK. Um, and then, you know, it tends to be that prints and things like if someone said, oh, I like that, I'd like that. Then the chances are I'm going to work on it a little bit. Um. Because there's always a few artifacts here and there. You can just, it's not really airbrushing anymore, but it's similar. It's a similar process to airbrushing. So, but it's, like I said, it's a bit more involved in uh, just smearing stuff about. It's not uh, so imprecise. But anybody who's used Photoshop probably knows um, how to correct images and separate frequencies and so on. Degauss! So here we go. It's like I said, 13%. This could take a while. So what I'm going to do is while it's running this, I'm going to show you something else. So uh, let's see. If we go to my Imgur. Okay. Right. So what we've got here is a bunch of stuff. So what I want to do. Is I want to show you right this one. So I put this up yesterday, and uh, people loved. They they were really digging this because if you look at these buildings here, they look really nice. Um, I was actually surprised with how well they came out. There's a few weird things going on, but I was surprised at how well they came out. Um, and then there's a few other things. This is like one of my favorite images from a different collection. This is another one of the buildings from the deep study. Uh, I think this is a completely different prompt. I just thought it looked cool how it was like ripping through space time or something. I don't know. But really, it's the Midjourney Tower. A lot of images on from Midjourney try to turn into this tower configuration. It's kind of like an hourglass, but obviously, you know, just the composition of the photo. Uh, that was a marble frog. That's a cat watching TV. And this is some kind of, oh, it's the supreme, what was it? I don't know. I can't remember what I said now. The supreme energy being or something. Anyway, this did okay. But people, there were a lot of comments. A lot of comments. People like, oh my goodness, you're stealing the AI's work. It's like, no. If you check my uh, history, it's all either mid-journey outputs and it's tagged AI. Or if you go back far enough, it's me evaluating all the different, uh, let's see if we can get there. We've got VQ, GAN, Pixray, Pixel Draw, DALI 2, Big GAN, Clip, uh, X, LX, Mert, uh, Deep Dream, uh, Face Gen, Night Cafe, Clip Guided, Diffusion, uh, a bunch of collabs, Deep AI. There's original DALI 1 and a whole bunch of DALI 1s. This one became Crayon. You know, but um, Rick and Morty in the garage. <laughs> so, you know, it, 
I've been looking into this for a while now. And to be honest, you know, at first it wasn't even worth sharing anything. But when we're starting to get to this, this kind of stuff, it's it's definitely worth exploring. So, like I said, I wanted to look at where this image came from while we're waiting on the pollinator. Let's just check it. Where we're at, 39%. Okay. So, basically, this won't make any sense unless we go into this. Well, it does. It's pretty. But if you really want to know what's going on, then you've got to... I've, I've tried my best to... Uh, don't do that it's just confusing what the heck right bit dot lee go so here we have an extremely large image okay now okay so we look at the prompt towering building hovering in clouds weight of ratio 2 building ratio 0.9 Clouds, ratio minus 0.5. Building with lights inside. That's a separator. So next prompt. All, the, all these are separators, but you can indicate a weight. With no weight, it averages. Lights inside building. So I wanted to double, I wanted to be verbose and use a symbol to make sure that you're going to get some lights in the buildings. Okay. Uh... And 35 millimeter for the lens, 2D because I wanted it to be a painting, not a 3D render. Uh, 0.5 though, because I find it can go too far sometimes. Um, 0.5 isn't actually 0.5, it's two thirds. No, wait, no, it's not. Minus 0.5 is zero, one is one, and it'll normalize your uh, weights. Anyway. 8K, because that tends to give you good detail. Happy Accidents, 1.1, which is just a particular type of effect, which seems to go, I seem to, it, it, I like it. Massive Scale, which again, stops it from like making things look small, I guess. Global Illumination, RTX, it's a bit of a meme. And then Style By to me, no Osama, which is me. And I doubled it for fun. The seed is one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why there's a dash there. That's probably my typo. Um, and then the AR, so the resolution is 10 to 16. Okay, so we know all of this. Now, this image here is a photo of a desktop computer. It's a nice case. But basically, uh, I've used this to influence the generation. So I fed this into every image except... For these, the, these don't have, these guys, they don't have the image supplied. So this is just the prompt. And then I've used dash dash IW1. So this is IW1. Okay, this is, this one here is IW2. Two. And then the next is IW4. The next will be six. And then eight and then 10. Now, you would think that it's not going to make any difference because there's no image supplied. But every time you go down, it's supplying an image to the next, you know, you're supplying the, the first image to the next one. So you can get an effect even without, um, yeah, even without putting the image in there. But anyway, I just wanted to show. So this is 10, this is eight, six, four, two, and one. All from the same prompt and the same seed, okay? So, you you know, if you tried this yourself, you would get similar results. Not the same, similar. There's always a bit of variation. So anyway, first thing I did was add in the image, the desktop PC image. Now, on IW1, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But there is a change. You can see there is a change there. Quite a drastic change, too. But it's not, you can't see the influence of the image yet. It's just affected the composition. We're always going to pick image one for every generation, by the way. So here's the grid with a double strength of the uh, thing. And you can see the red LED. There was a red LED inside the case. You can see it starting to influence here. Okay. So it's quite interesting how you can see just on, just on double strength, how it's putting, it's trying to put the colors in as much as it's affecting composition. So then we go to times four. And again, you can see that 
that red coming through that's what it looked like with no image okay and here we go again so looking at the top one here look there's no case here at all there's no it's just a build it's just a tower and if we come and look at this one it's almost trying to make the case out of the building <coughs> okay next one this one's iw8 so no image it comes out the prompt comes out like that with the image now we're starting to see some heavy influence from the colors but not so much from the actual uh textures i guess you could say now this one does though it's trying to make a stack of them almost if you look at this that's uh that's what the tower should look like and now it looks like that at strength 10. now there is currently something called stylize which is ex uh, experimental so what i did was i actually used a low stylized so that means that it's gonna uh, be less artistic about it and that gave me these images here and you can see on that one that's really nice i like that one a lot so double style but with a very, sorry double image weight low stylization you can see this this is looking nice as well image uh, four at, at six it almost looks like a desktop pc case and here again and here look it's starting to look a lot like a pc case and here as well the higher we go up with the image strength now on a low stylization i'm using 838 um and in the end you actually get something that looks a little bit like a pc case certainly here now i really wanted to evolve up to this one to show people what's going on but for the sake of keeping it simple, I just picked the first image because I knew we were going to have to do um, a lot of generations, as you can see here. So essentially, you pick that one, upscale it, make variations, pick the first one again, upscale it, and so on and so on and so on until you get down to here. Now, this is four times four times four times four times four times four times four images. So I'm glad I was only saving these ones. But basically, uh, if I just go back over here and we just take a look at uh, strength four. So strength four, standard style, and we go down. So it's going to look like this, this image here in the red square. And down. Ended up looking like that in generation one. Let me go to generation two see it's drawn in it's almost like he's done more line work like the line work has been overdrawn go to the next one and now it's filled in a bit more of the texturing keep going and again you can see it's just sort of redrawing over the top go to the next one now we're starting to see some buildings sort of in the clouds where it doesn't know what to do so it's just building more built it's just drawing more buildings and the line work is starting to go a bit insane now. But every time it does it, it retextures it and makes sure the colors are good. Now it's started drawing in some lights and little cranes. Okay. So by the bottom, it's looking really nice. And if you look at any of them on the bottom row, they're all, they're all very detailed. And like I said, you can go into Photoshop and remove these extra textures and blend these colors out. So you don't even need to worry about it. It just depends on what your goal is. You know, are you actually going to be doing stuff with these or are you just doing it for fun and either is a good reason so if i just go to the low stylized iw4 so there we go we've picked the one that looks like a computer case okay so down we go and as you can see oh, oh well no we're not that's iw6 it's this one the iw4 so it looked like a building let's go down and this time we're going to see the influence of that computer case coming in quite strongly at IW4. So I hope you can see that. This is like, I need to play this back to figure out if, if you, anyone can actually see anything. I've tried to make it uh, work. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. So as you can see these are the most detailed ones 
I'd say some of them went too far. You probably want to go back one generation. So it's almost like I wanted to see how far I could go. Because here, this one is sort of losing its integrity already. It looks like a cardboard cutout. Um, that one's getting a bit messy too. That one I like a lot. That one I like a lot. But the process is pretty much, if I like it, I ask for variations. And if I like those, I ask for more until everything just falls apart. See, this is the one that uh, people seem to like a lot. I love the window, the way the, the foreground windows came out on this one. They look so real. Um, it's kind of dirty as well. And if you go back up this tree, you'll see that you just have to have faith and keep going down. Um, because it's not like it looked, you know, it's just getting slightly more detailed every time. I just thought that looks like promising. We'll keep going. And uh, like I said, when it starts, that's the first gen. So, you know, you might think, oh, this is, this is pretty boring. See this one here? Oh, that's pretty boring. You know, you might think that, oh, oh that doesn't look that interesting, you know. Uh, the PC case, yeah, the PC case. There it is. First blow up, huh? Turn straight back into a building look because of the verbose prompt. It's got all that, all those words. So when you click on the uh, upscale, it's like right. I'm going to render a texture. I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to give you clouds, you know. And then we just do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I think by here, I mean, except for this sort of weird artifact where it seems to have an edge where this doesn't really, you know, apart from that, which could just be some kind of detailing of the building. And uh, yeah, so uh, do, 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 do. let's get out of this. So, yeah, feel free to check that out. The uh, full album is over on. Uh, my Imga, Imga Mushroom Fleet. Um, I, put, I didn't put them all in there because it was like so many images, hundreds, hundreds of images made up this deep study. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in knowing what the influence of the URL will do at different weights, because using the same seed, it's very, it's, fa it's a fairly good experiment. So, right, let's check on pollinator. Oh, what's it doing? It looks like maybe written video, right? Oh, we got it. Let's go. Prompt eater. Does that mean you eat really fast? <laughs> I think it does, you know. Oh, will I ever get near the mute, the food? God, I'm hungry now. We never even got close to the food, guys. And look, I think that's the prompt eater. <laughs> oh, that actually came out really well. Like I said, if you had the pro version, you could make it higher res, longer playback. Yeah, you know. I'll just download that. Thank you very much. So, yeah, like I say, uh, that's my first little contribution. Uh, I'll do other videos like this where we'll take a look at other other pollinations it's probably a good idea to disconnect and delete runtime i don't really know if it matters but probably a good idea if you plan to use this a lot um hmm get rid of that and obviously refresh the page wait what oh wow it gave me like is it giving me like every image as well damn well like i said i'm gonna uh could save them up and use them for something else Pretty cool but yeah we'll download that one as well i don't know if it's the same video it probably is all right so basically that's everything i wanted to do so yeah thank you very much i'll be back again soon and uh we'll be checking out some more stuff i don't know if this avatar thing is actually working i'm going to check the playback and see let me know in the comments do i even need it i just thought it would be nice to have something on the side when we're looking at stuff uh, but it doesn't seem to actually move every time I'm talking. Maybe, maybe it's just me.
But thanks for watching. You made it to the end of the video. Um, we've got lots more coming soon. So, yeah. Uh, see you soon, guys.